Hello guys, welcome back to Rise Tales, Last Adventurers. This is number 16, this is this is Liberation Day. So, we ended up in Guernsey in 1952, uh, doing the sort of Liberation Day, which is like a, like a part, like a celebration of the after, well, from, you know, of the winning of, well, Britain surviving the Second World War, of course, and it's been a, it's been a thing since 1945, it has, so it's been a, a thing for Guernsey, which I've had, had a bit of research in. Um, Obviously, the celebrations are going to, uh, going well away nicely until a boy finds up a you know a, ba a leather book washed up on the beach, and starts reading it, and strange stuff ha starts happening. The first thing is, uh, the dead start awaking out of the of the ground. Only six people, but these people are a ex-Nazi platoon known as Army Group X, who actually. Well, one of the one of the were, were the soldiers were a group of soldiers who planned to take over Guernsey, who actually situated there and actually planned to take over it, you know, you know, and that sort of thing. But they end up failing, end up being killed. So they end up being revived out of the out of the ocean, out of the sea, and basically take on the locals, and all hell breaks loose really, and all death and destruction starts happening. And the other thing is the boy, who got the book starts gradually getting older he starts you know getting older just by you know as as the hours go by he gets great get older and it's like you know this book is like a cursed thing of course no one knows where it actually came from of course but it's meant to be sort of like um you know like a version of the necro necro uh, comicon or anything like that it's like it, it's some you know it's one it's one of those things that probably did the Nazis use that? And apparently they did actually. They end up finding this book, of course, because the, they end up being because there's been a situation of raids during over the course of Europe and everything else, and they found this book situated in. I'm trying to think of the north. I think it's not. I think it'd be in Normandy actually. So they end up getting this book in Normandy and up to obtaining it, of course. In doing so, doing the plans, they end up um, putting their you know putting their blood in the pages. And this ends up as like a resurrection thing, really. Obviously, they sort of they sort of are revived, but heavily decayed and everything else, very sort of messed up and tattered, and you know, and and basically are, are basically hungered, you, you know, like for and if, well, one thing is to to gain gain back Guernsey, but also just take out the locals and basically feed them, really, you know, obtain their souls, really, you know, because it it helps them to bring, you know, I think with zombies, of course, like I need your soul or something like that, and it's like uh, you need. You need that just to give you, it gives you more energy, more power, really, in that vein. And yeah, that's really about what Liberation Day is. And of course, the protagonists turn up, of course, everything gets back to normal, of course, and, you know, la da da, of course. But it has that strong horror aspect to it. So this book was originally inspired by White Dance by David A. McKinty North from 1993, which the Dr. Ace and Bernie send up in Haiti 1915. And I thought, what an interesting idea, really. Like, it's a very. Said, said during the, uh, the second, no, the first world war in Haiti, which is a very unlikely place to set up a story, really. And I thought, you know, that'd be an interesting idea. I thought the idea of actually doing, you know, researching stuff to do with the, with the second world war, of course. Originally, originally, I wasn't meant to do, wasn't going to set one during the second world war, like during the 1940s, but I ended up doing this one. Well, this, this was one of, one of them that was made, sort of intentional, really. It's in, it's in the early 50s, so it's 1952, this is, so it's after. It's set after the first, uh, Second World War, so, you know, originally I thought one not meant to do one, really. You know, because I've, I've seen, Doctor Who has the thing, of course, like, setting stuff in World War Two, set doing the Blitz and everything else. I think that's, that was all, but, like, you know, it's very, you know, too much, it's too much of it. So I thought, you know, why not just, just continue, you know, just like do something outside that, like even out, the, the aftermath of the Second World War or before second, the Second World War, so I thought that would be an interesting thing. Of course, I ended up with Liberation Day. Um, so now, now much to do, now much else to do. It, it was one that was written, of course, same with industrial, you know, Stranger to the Ground and everything else. It's part of that crop, really. Of course, you know, like, I really wanted to think, like, you know, set one in Guernsey, which would be interesting, because I know they set just what was set in Guernsey in 1941, that was. So I thought, do one something like that, but send the set in set doing after the Second World War and see, you know, it has that sort of Army of Darkness type feel about an evil dead thing. Of course, with Necrocon, at least all Necrocon, um, no one knows the name of the book, was it's, it's like a Necrocon Necro copy, really. And I thought that'll do, really, that'll be a pretty interesting idea. And yes.
There you go. So it's basically like, it's like the Doctor Who version of Army of Darkness in a way, mixed together with Curse of Femric, and that's about it really, to be honest. Yeah, but it's like, it's basically like that really, but as a new adventure, as a type of adventure, really. So, so it works nicely, it does. And that's about every Liberation Day. You know, nothing much, nothing much to say about this one, unlike some other stories I'll mention, you know, because they get to the more nitty gritty type style, of course, and also has more backstory than some of these ones. But some of them are worth talking about, just depends really what there is. But we'll get there eventually. Thank you guys for watching, as always, see you in the next video, and goodbye.